At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! The assault that happened last night. The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Please. Madam President! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Please! Madam President! Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? You'll feel better now. Thanks. Let's stay here. No, please don't hurt me. Get up on your knees. What are we going to do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. 
I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? You looked at them like rats. Boy, you looked the boy, you're fine. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks to clean up this fucking city. Believe me, we are far from finished here. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! He saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing.
Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. What's up, Lieutenant? Ran out of whiskey, so you came here looking for trouble instead? Oh, very nasty, Connor. Is that the best your super program can do? I thought you were more sophisticated than that. Step away from the ledge. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time, I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him in this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Us 
out of harm's way until things calm down. Come on, get out! Get a move on! Out! I give the orders, you follow them. Got it? Forward! I'm scared. I... I don't want to go. There's no choice, Alice. Next! No, Carl. I can't. You just have to go through the gate. There's nothing to be scared of. I'll be right behind you. You first! It's all right. She'll go now. Won't you, Alice? Come on, it's your turn. Activate your skin. Hurry up! Please, Carl, don't... We have to. Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. Come on, get moving. What of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I gave you an order. Obey, now. I'll do I... it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back.
Alice? Get out of here. I was with a little girl. We we're together. She needs me. It's Kara. Of course, Kara got captured too. That's really just too bad, really too bad. Have you seen the little girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph, but Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Do not move and remain silent. Obey now. <sighs> Ralph doesn't want to die. Ralph doesn't Have want to die. Have you seen Alice? Ralph oh, yes. It would be a pity. Uh, Ralph didn't do harm. And no. Remain silent. No. Obey now. Look at me, Ralph. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You just have to stay calm. Okay? Ralph hasn't seen the little girl. No. Ralph hasn't seen her. us all together like this. What are they going to do? Listen. Do you hear that? That's the sound of our people dying. With. Have you seen her? No. No, I haven't. You saved my life back there. It would have killed me if it weren't for you. Separated. Alice is alone. In here. We have to find her. You, you, and you, over this way. And you. Come on, get a move on. No, Luther. Save Alice. No, leave him alone. Don't worry. It'll be your turn soon.
Jerry? Kara? So they captured you too. They came to take all the Jerry's. They separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. Jerry? Jerry? Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. The situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hard Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you.
Hide here. Don't move till it's over, okay? Save me, Marcus. You sacrificed their lives to save mine. On my signal. In position. Follow me! Signal, you got it. I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move.
Ralph doesn't want to die, oh no. Ralph doesn't want to die. It'd be a great pity if Ralph died, oh, that's for sure. Great pity. Great pity. What's behind these doors? They just want to check us. They won't do us any harm. Marcus will come and free us. They're going to kill us. I know they're going to kill us. RA9, have pity on us. RA9, have pity on us. Why are we here? What's behind these doors? I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Why are we here? Marcus and our people will save us. Car! Alice! Kara! No, Alice, don't move! But I'm scared! When you hear the buzzer, you step forward, got it? That's your last warning. Next time I shoot. Are they going to kill us, Kara? Are we going to die? No, of course not. They're just going to make sure we function. I can help you, Carl. I can attract the guard's attention. I'm scared. I want you to hold me. Don't leave me all alone. I'll think of something. I just need time. Back in line. You're there for what? Back in line, I said. Piece of shit. Come on, get up. And get up or I'll shoot. Return to your line immediately or you will be destroyed. Next time I'll shoot you, got it? Marcus.
not over, Marcus. It will never be over. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won! This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. get through this door, we're going to shut our eyes, and we're going to hold on to each other real tight. Come on, inside, now. just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels, following some particularly violent fighting. The deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you. 
and God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive and now we are free.